my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to set the IP address of your Ethernet IP EX260 using either DIP switches or the Boot P configuration tool. During this video, we'll show you the steps, the equipment, and the software that you need. By the end, we will have the network IP address set and be able to confirm it. Let's get started. You'll need a PC, software, and Ethernet connectivity to complete this configuration. Please refer to our earlier EX260 video for general hardware layout and setup. Now let's set up the EX260 module for the PLC. First, install the EDS file for the EX260. Check the video page for more information. You can choose to set the IP address directly or with software. Let's set the IP address manually first. Remove power from the EX260 then remove the display cover. Set the IP address with a precision screwdriver. The rotary switches allow you to choose the network and address settings. Check out your MAC address on the body of the EX260 for future reference. The switch settings are also printed on the EX260. Manual addresses can be from 1 to 254 on networks 192.168.0 and 192.168.1, which are free to be set by the user as long as it's not already been assigned. Once set, reattach the display cover and reapply power to lock in the new IP address. To establish communication between the devices, we're going to use a local network of 192.168.0. We're going to use our setup in the computer to set that address. We have set the switches in the EX260 to 20, and the PLC is set to 102. It's already configured. Then we're going to set our computer up as 101, as everything will need to have a different address. The mask is going to be set to 255.255.255 and that establishes our network as 192.168.0, leaving the last digits for our addresses. Now we'll connect up our network to RS links to verify our communications. There's our PLC at 102 and there's our EX260 at 20. As an option, we can set the IP address remotely with boot P. Remove power from the EX260. Then remove the display cover. Set the switches to DHCP mode with a precision screwdriver, or set DIP switch 1 to off and the rotary switches to 255. Once the switch is set, apply power for 15 seconds, then remove power again. Set them back to 000, power them back up. And the old address, 20, is no longer recognized. Next, start Boot P DHCP software. With Boot P running and the Ethernet cable to the PC, apply power back to the EX260. The MAC address of the EX260 appears now. Double click the MAC ID we collected earlier and enter the address. We will use 192.168.0. You can use any address that is available, but for simplicity's sake, we're just going to use the same network and put in a different address so we can see that it does change. Host name and description are optional, so we'll leave them off for now. The MAC address and IP address now appear in the relation list. Then the IP address will also appear under request history. We click on the device and disable the boot P so now when you power down and power back up, the device will be ready to go. If not successful, cycle the EX260 power and wait for the MAC and IP address to reappear again in request history. Now highlight the IP address again in relation list and disable boot P. Now you will see Command Successful. We also want to verify that all IP addresses are set. Start RS Links and it will ping the EX260 and other nodes to make sure everything is running well. All looks good, so we are ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our next serial interface video where we show you how to map the data between the PLC and the EX260 so that the PLC will be able to control the valves.